We finally made it to the MLS Cup final. This is it. Here and now. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pez. Even though this isn't Pez really. Well it is, but it's not. It's ESPN Game Night on the PS1. So yeah, let's win this. So it's new... Is it New England Revolution? See, I do know some of these club crests in the MLS. Anyway, let's have a look here at uh, what's going on with the old team. Ah, oh, CJ Brown. He's been so good for me as well. He's on a down arrow. We need some positive arrows. <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, Jesse Ma. She's been a legend for us. We can't drop Jesse Marsh, can we? Can we do that to him? He's been running the midfield. <laughs> I can't take chances. I'm sorry, guys. I know you love Mr. Marsh. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been fantastic playing this game. Really has. I've really enjoyed myself. I mean, ISS Pro Evolution um, is just such... It's still such a good game. And I've talked about this a lot on this mini-series. But it's amazing, really, how well this still plays. All these years later, it is quite something. Look at him on the bottom left. His mullet. Look at that mullet. That's fantastic. Oh, if Dave was with me now... He'd be laughing at that. Dave would be on hair watch. One of us is always on hair watch. I'm on the shift tonight. Anyway. So we're in the home kit. I think this is Chicago's home kit. Our away kit's the white strip and the red's the home. I'm right in saying that, aren't I, guys? I don't know. Uh, New England are obviously attacking right to left in the white strip. So let's just win this. Let's actually win a trophy in one of these footy videos. Because we've had a couple of series go in where we play semi-seriously. Well, we do play seriously. We always play seriously. But we never win the tournament. We get... I think we've got to a semi-final in something. We lost that. We got knocked out. And in this... Obviously, I'm in the final. Now I've got to win it. Takes it away. Oh, here we go. Ah. Ah, oh, Bocanegra for Chicago. He's been really good for me, but... Uh-oh. Oh, 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 look at that for a defensive header. The animation, the way he leaps. Oh. This game's so good. Here's Ramos. I think this is Mullet Man. Oh. All right, here we go. Counter-attack's on. I've got to think about this. Oh, what a... Oh, no, 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 no. I was just going to say what a pass, but... Far too much on it. Okay. Yeah, I... I'm glancing at the uh, opposition player names. I haven't recognised any yet. I must say. So, uh, I would say on paper, Chicago Fire are, are a superior team because we have got, well, some world-class players like Stoichkov and Jesse Marsh. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. He clears it down the field. Ah, that's terrible. That was terrible. I think, um, going back to ISS Pro Evolution, Some quick th there are so many... Oh, my days. What a goal. What a goal. Harris. I was going to say, there are so many memories attached to these ISS Pro Evolution games for me, especially ISS Pro Evolution 2. It just takes me back. I can remember where I was. Look at this, though. 
our keeper, though he moved a bit late, I remember where I was, and I mean, of course I remember where I was, but <laughs> I remember when, where, who I was. But they were different times. Uh, they, it was just, it was a good, it was a good time. It was a good time playing lots of ISS Pro Evolution 2 on the PS1 and just having friends around and playing couch tournament stage carve. Yeah, playing couch co-op, couch to couch tournaments. Is that a thing? Couch tournaments. It's a thing now. I've just invented it. Sometimes, and I will try and focus while I play here, guys, whilst I uh, talk. Oh, Gutierrez, no. Yeah, we, we'd be up till sort of three, four in the morning, drinking beers, um, and just, just laughing and playing these old greats. So ISS Pro Evolution 2 in this case is what I'm thinking of. Trying to win the World Cup. We'd do some co-op. Uh, and it, it was just a special time for football gaming and console gaming in general but when I'd get back into the office I always remember where I was working at the time oh that thought Jesse Marsh what did he do there or what did I do there why didn't he shoot why didn't I shoot I'm not going to blame Jesse Marsh for that <laughs> yeah but I um Oh, hold that thought. <laughs> I'm in again. I got to score one of these. And again, I do the wrong... Or I make the wrong decision. I'm sprinting too much when I get the ball in the final zone there. There you go. That sounds quite MLS. Uh, like MLS lingo, doesn't it? The zones. What was I saying? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm in again. I'm not. Basically, I remember the job I was in at the time, and th there was a few guys in the office who loved video games, and they loved footy, but they haven't even heard of Pro ISS Pro Evolution. They didn't know what I was on about. They were like FIFA, FIFA guys, and it's just like I used to be like, "Lads, you've got to try ISS Pro Evolution Two. You've just got to try it." Here we go. And there was one guy in the office, I think his name was Steve, and he okay. did. He went out at lunch one day, came back to the office. Mike, look what I've bought. And then the next day, he comes into the office just like, oh my god. He goes, how didn't I know about this game? It's the best football game of all time, etc. The rest is history. And Chicago Fire are going to be history in a minute, unless we score. It's half time. Or well, the manager will be history, Bob Bradley. It's not Bob Bradley, I've just made that up. He's the first American manager I could think of. He was terrible. Uh, he managed Swansea City and someone else in... Maybe someone in the Premier League, I don't know. Maybe Swansea were in the Premier League at the time when he managed. You know what my memory's like. But he was awful, wasn't he, bless him. Sure, he's a lovely dude, though. He, he talks a good game. There you go. We've gone from Steve in the office to Bob Bradley. Anyway. There we go. It's Kubik. Chris Armas. It is Chris Armas, by the way, guys. I checked. I finally checked. I think it's time. Where is he? Because this dude... This... I, I can't say his name. Starts with W. It has been terrible for me. Oh, we're not going to lose another final, are we? Oh, Bocanegra? Eh, hey, it was terrible. Come on, we can score goals. We've been all right in this. Not in this match, but in this series in general. We've played some decent football at times, scored some nice goals. The thud of that ball, though. 
I must have talked about the thud, the sound effect of that ball every episode, but I always forget it makes that loud bang until I boot this game back up and I start playing. Oh no! Right, think about this. He's got no one up with him, so... Oh, yes, he has! What a header! That was nearly 2-0. Here's Jesse Marsh. Running the show again. Of oh, Jesse Marsh. Beautiful passing. Ah, oh, Stoichkov. Oh, go on. It's one one. I always had. Oh, it's Jesse. Marsh. Of course it is. Of course it is, and that gives me any excuse to pull up the Jesse Marsh dance. Let's see that last move once again. Or rather, I only need, yeah, one reason to put up that gif. <laughs> I knew we'd score. I did, I, 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 yeah. I think attacking-wise, I've been all right in this series. It's um because of the firepower we've got, the front three with Jesse Marsh just behind them. It just works. I like this formation, and I am going to be trying it in PES 5 at some point. The 3-4-3. Oh, Gutierrez. Here we go. It's Gutierrez. Oh, brilliant play from Gutierrez. Look at that. Twinkle toes. Love the way he takes his player there. This game is superb. Marsh. Novak. Novak. Oh, Novak. Just drops his shoulder. Ah. Oh, oh, we're in again. Stoichkov. Oh, why didn't I shoot? Why did I know it was on his right foot, but why didn't I shoot? Why did I turn? Why, why, why? Ramos. Nope. Ah, oh, come on, Toto Wolf. Wolf. Here's Toto Wolf again. His name's not Toto Wolf, guys. It's just me being me giving players names, first names, because I don't know his first name. Toto Wolf, if you didn't know, is is the team principal at the Mercedes F1 team. I think he co-owns the team as well, doesn't he? I don't know. But anyway, let's not start talking about F1. As I'm recording this, I've just watched the Australian Grand Prix. Uh oh. So I've got F1 on the mind. Our keeper there, just... He's been brilliant in this series. Thornton, isn't it? So good. He's made some really important saves. Ah. Oh, he gets the challenge. He gets the slide in, but... Right, what are we doing with this? Come on now, Whitfield. Right, here's Gutierrez again, who's been pretty good in this match. Oh, there you go. I've cursed it. Commentator's curse. Ring the bell. Ring the bell for the commentator's curse. I say I'm just getting rid of that. I didn't like that. Okay. Razov. Chris Armas. Ah... Coming up to the 90th minute. This is going to go to extra time. Oh, it's not best of three, though, is it, guys? The final. Because all the other matches have been, haven't they? I don't know. Was the semi-final best of three? I mean... Yeah, overtime. Um, It's not really that my memory's that bad. It's because I'm juggling so many different football games at the moment. So Dave and I are playing PES 3 co-op something got the Pez 5 Master League, retro football, and I'm doing this as well, so I kind of forget what's what at times. And I love it. I love playing all these games. 
and talking about all of these old greats with you guys. It's just so much fun. Here we go. Right. Armas. Razov. Five minutes now into the first overtime. Oh, this is going to fly by. Here we go. Novak. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Novak again. Straight at the keeper. That was the chance to win this thing. I'm assuming it's golden goal. Right, defend. That's straightforward for Thornton. Total Wolf now. Whitfield. Okay. Right, come on, Stoichkov. What have you got? Oh, my. Now, how will they attack? Oh, no, it's getting scrappy. It's getting scrappy. Both teams now just don't want penalty shootout. They want to win this in extra time. Oh, what was that for me? Oh, I got away with that. So, some tired legs out there, I would imagine. Let's have a look. Um, oh, I don't know. There we go. These menus are a little bit clunky, I will say that, if I had to be critical of the game. It might be an emulation thing. I doubt it, because it it plays buttery smooth. I, I just think the menus back then were a bit fiddly. Don't know if clunky is the right word. Anyway, we're in injury time. Of extra time. First half of extra time. Now we go to the second half of extra time. I don't I don't want penalties. I, I just don't. And the whistle now for the second period of overtime. I'm actually pretty good at penalties in the old Pez games, it must be said. Um but with that being said, I just don't want penalties. I, I wanna I wanna score. Just just score a goal now. That's gone out, ref. Looking for the <laughs> Jesse Marsh does well. Gutierrez, come on. Here we go. Loads of grass to run into, and I do that. Right, I'm getting frustrated now, and that's not a good sign. When I get frustrated, I don't play well. Oh. Come on, get Toto Wolf back. Oh, he's been immense, Toto Wolf has. It's got to be said. I love the centre backs in this team. Here we go, Stoichkov. Brilliant from Jesse Marsh. Stoichkov. Stoichkov has been poor in this match. He's been brilliant every match, apart from the final when it matters. When it matters most. We are approaching... Penalties, guys. It's not that far off now. Uh-oh. Brilliant from Whitfield, but oh, that's a throw-in to New England. Out you go. That's easy for the centre-back. Here's Lavrenko for Chicago Fire. It's just very back and forth, this match. Loads of space in midfield. What can we do from this free kick? Let's change it to a Stoichkov, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, just, just do it. I, I'm just going to look at stats. There's no point. Stoichkov is going to be the best at free kicks, I think. Come on, please. Please. Ah. Oh. It's injury time. That means penalties. Unless New England can do something here at the end. Oh, thank you. I'll take the penalties now. <laughs> they were away there. Is it going to be the weird MLS type penalty shootout or will it be the traditional it's traditional and it's easy for Stoichkov the magician right let's see this bottom left my bottom left ah if 
I keep trying bottom left, they will go bottom left at some point. Oh, no! No! Right, bottom left. Oh, that was rubbish, Thornton. Not that it was Thornton's fault, because they didn't go bottom left anyway. Oh, my... How? There you go. It's Comte's curse. Oh, it's Mullet. Here's Mullet. Oh, what a penalty. Yeah, commentator's curse. Me saying I'm good at penalties in these games. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Jesse Marsh has been player of the tournament for Chicago. Oh, I nearly got to it, but New England. Ah, oh, the MLS Cup winners. And the Chicago players are distraught. And so am I. <laughs> because that was winnable and I messed it up. 1-1 one, one full time. New England deserved the victory because they were far better in the penalty shootout when it matters most. I hope you've enjoyed this mini-series, guys. Um, for the next, let's play Pez. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. L again, let me know in the replies what Pez you'd like to see for Let's Play Pez. It won't be the Master League, because I've got the Pez 5 Master League on the go. But it will be like a tournament like this, basically. Some World Cup or Konami Cup or whatever. So, yeah, let me know. I would prefer one of the older Pez games, because I just prefer them. I saw someone suggesting Pez 2021 in the replies on one of our videos. I'm not that keen on 2021. I think it's clunky and a bit predictable and boring. But anyway... I'm rambling away here, guys. You uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you all soon.